think a water bottle says a lot about a man, and yours makes you look like a pont. A pont? A pont. What's that? A fucking poncy boy, like you frolic in leaves. Yeah, it? it's a dandy. It's, it's a, what a dandy would drink. Yeah. Or is it... Um, no. This is kind of this is what water bottles used to be back in cowboy days. This was the closest thing you could get to. Stop a bottle. trying to connect with your past selves. No, but I'm just saying this is what. Because think about what was a water bottle before the invention of plastic. This yeah. is probably it, right? Yeah, no one, no one's, no one's shot by I what just you're said, saying. This is an old water bottle. Yeah, it's. I guess it's of a certain time, mm. but the style of it now, now you, is embarrassing. Yeah, I lost mine. You lost yours, and I lost it's mine. Time for a new one. Time for a change. I lost mine too, and the reason mm. why I have this is because I lose my bottles at such a rampant rate, I can't buy one quick, too soon after my I've lost it, or else I'll lose it again. Sure. So to financially, I have to space out my bottle buying. Right, now, so this I, isn't a first choice. No, I, since I started using this, I've yeah. lost three bottles, okay? Right. I take them with me to gigs. Yeah, do you take just, that to a gig? No, I can't, it's what? glass, that's why I haven't lost it. You can't take it, why? I couldn't take this to a gig. Why? A glass, it'll, it'll, it'll break. It's not. That's not it what it's break. used for. It's a home bottle. It's a bottle for the home. You could take that to a gig. No, you'd look like a pot. No, yeah, yeah. That's I the would. only problem. But it's also it's it's like a. You it, it just would. It, it, there's a too high chance of it breaking. It's Is not, there? It's not a travel bottle. Well, if you if you pop that baby in your rucksack, that's fine. Maybe no. pad it with a jumper. No, why would I don't want to be padding it with jumpers. That's a, that's the first lo- like uh, logical thing you said yeah. today. Um, my bottle. I want this for my home bottle, and that's why it keeps coming in. So, would you? I've lost the lid, funnily enough. In an ideal world, would you have a home bottle and an away bottle? Yeah. So, ideally, I wouldn't have this in my roster. A private and public. Yeah. Indoors, I, do you outdoors. Know, do, I genuinely want, I genuinely would like a Chili's bottle of every size. Because I, I have use for every size. I have, a, I have an engraved Chili's bottle that says Andrew. Do you still have it? I gave it to Earl. Oh, nice. Because not it wasn't like a mad wow. act of wow, isn't he? You, that you can have me. I'm that not is, holding for applause. It's your Horcrux. No, it's just it was too small. I like a big fat boy. I want a big fat boy for at home. Yeah. I want a small one when I've got a rucksack, and then I want a really small one for when I only take my sling bags to like new material gigs. So I just want so I I, I have use for every size, and I want, yeah. And then I potentially I'd like a slightly smaller one. I want a really now big. You're just being, no, I want a really big one mental. that is only for the house, so I can take out from that. That's to a that liter, size a liter, to scale. A liter. A liter's not that much. Mine was two. Two liters. I think. Fuck. I think it was two, and that's why I was pissing all. So I've since I've lost that, I've been pissing a normal amount. Interesting. If it's there, I'm going to drink it. If it's there, Daddy's going to lick it up. Well, so that's. I'm like so I guess cow. I guess pissing is a good thing because you should be drinking lots of water. Well, yeah, but there's there's too much, isn't there? I mean, there it, it just became inconvenient. It well, was an inconvenient. You were truth. pissing an extraordinary amount. Well, yeah, the I inco- mean the inconvenient truth is weighing too much. Yeah, Al yeah. Gore. <laughs> Two thousand. Well, they're both about water, I guess. Yeah, one's <laughs> well, there's, there's floods involved in both. One's yeah. more, you know, the world. The other's my toilet. Right, you teased me by saying you were going to give me something about Biden, a cold open. Yeah, I did actually. Right, so I'm just going to show them first. So recently, but like today, I just mm. saw this. Today, Biden has said today's Wednesday. Yeah, he's um, quite optimistic about a ceasefire being reached in, yep. in Gaza. Now, can I see it? Now I'll show you how he's yeah. how he's delivering. Yeah. <laughs> So for those listening, <laughs> quite astonishingly, he's saying this. When do you think that ceasefire will start, sir? Well, I hope by the beginning of the weekend. I mean, the end of the weekend. Well, they say that my, my, my national security advisor tells me that we're close. So he's, he's holding an ice cream cone. <laughs> <laughs> it looks to be a vanilla ice cream cone. I don't think anyone's allowed to say the words "my national security advisor" whilst holding an ice cream yeah. cone. So, is it is it, the mic's in the crack cone or is it natural ice cream? Why would the mic? I, I, was it like a, a novelty microphone? Or was it just- <laughs> no, 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 it's a real ice cream. <laughs> but he's, in what world is that a novelty but, microphone? Because I thought it was like yeah. show me again. No, he's got again. no, he's got a mic on there. It's not a novelty oh, mic on where on his on his lapel. Oh, so it's not on. Oh, I see. I thought it was on the ice because he's holding it. Like yeah, no, no, no. I, I, it does look like a. It does look like a novel. That would be weirder. 
That would be weird. That would be weirder. Because he's clearly doing some like, you know, stop and doing salt of the earth talks. But if if someone if he was doing that, that would be his choice and ultimate ice cream. This is a bit more like, oh, you've asked me at a weird time, but I hope yeah, there is Yeah. I mean I, I think we should normalise uh, politicians with ice cream. With ice cream. I think it I think just going into like when he's into the kind of emergency correspondence. You know, yeah, yeah. I want him fielding questions, holding an ice cream that's slowly melting. Yeah. <laughs> with a neop- going, going Neapolitan down his dripping down. <laughs> um, you're eating a lot, right? Digestives. What's yep. how's your how's your tummy? What's going on? What do you mean? How, how do you eat a pack a week? I don't eat a pack a week. You eat a pack a week. I don't eat a pack a week. It's not been a great. See week how he reaches for his water when he's lying. To be fair, uh, BB has been padding the stats a little bit. Right, so she's she's munching on the on the tivs, yeah. More than well, more I, than my problem with to divulge. Them, my problem with them is if you actually go on to last week's episode, if you look at the very start, <laughs> I'm mid eating a digestive. <laughs> but my problem with them is I thought, look, I, I'm I'm back on my chalky hype, but it's now kind of manageable. Sure, I'm not going to the offie and buying the big bars. Yeah, I'm buying like a small one. Were you like slightly grateful about Brexit causing bars to be smaller? It didn't. What? So you know the big bars are actually not... They're, they're considerably smaller than they used to be. Really? Yeah. Well, like the ones with like four rows? Yeah. Considerably oh, smaller. I fancy one of those now. They used to be like that and then Brexit happened. Really? And then they made them smaller and I'm like, you know what? That's, that's smart because I'm going to pretend that they're still the big ones. Yeah. Well, they still are big. There's still a hell of a lot of chalky in there. Yeah. But now I'm going and buying just a single like ripple kind of thing that's that's growth it is but then so I, I thought oh maybe I saw digestives up here and I was like maybe I'll get digestives yeah because you know a couple of digies is better than a, a bar of choco mm. I just can't stop eating the fuckers yeah. it's, they're, like, it's they're a, the most they're, moorish they're things they're like Pringles, the Pringles. I, ate, I ate a pack in three days when I got it I couldn't stop because I need, once, I, I need once you've eaten them. half the pack in like a day and a half you're like well who gives a fuck anymore I they, fucked it anyway we might as well fuck it all the way they do seem to have like a a more depressive quality than other chocolate's a bit of fun it's a bit of childhood whereas our digestive, the digestive is like... i think it's because it packs a lot of stodge as well as being chocolatey mm. i just think there's 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 a there's a deep there's a deep like it's a more profound sadness after eating too many digestives like yeah. if i if i eat too many too much yeah. chocolate i feel a bit sickly yes yeah, sick. but the digestive one is more like profoundly we'll, depressed we'll, yeah well, is, what is the point is of everything going to be okay <laughs> no and the not. answer isn't no, no it makes me feel awful no, i really should not you eat just ate 10 yeah. digestives but for what's crazy about why you're eating milk chocolate digestives and to those of you who don't have digestives i guess this, this is not a particularly relatable se- segment um but it's when you finish one you really feel like you can eat more and be fine mm. like it really it's true you yeah have, you have such delusional things you tell yourself well i'm eating two and i'm like well two's not enough i could have like another two is that be something fine. to do because that's absolutely true is that something to do with how we digest them what do you think is that, do you is, think they're, 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 there's yeah. mechanics i just the, i don't believe that they're, they're, there's a reason they're called digestives and no one's told me yet no one's told me exactly but oh, I do we're feel, only asking each other which is why no one's told us but it does just sound like that's how british British confectionery is no, just can't. just had stupid names Who like that. Who does that? that? <laughs> Who does that? I've got this lovely di- new biscuit. <laughs> di- what should we call it? Diurolite. Digestive. <laughs> it sounds like a yeah. <laughs> like a laxative. Well, exactly. What are you going to call it? Digestive? No. <laughs> it's a, it's a I don't want to call it digestive. It's a, it's a horrible. It's like name. calling. It, oh no. Yeah. No, I don't understand how that got yeah. passed. And it it. it it, the only reason we need why to call each a, other out on digestive eating. I think there needs to. Well, I don't call, have them. Call, call your call your mate out. Call your mate out. Yeah, <laughs> have a word. <laughs> What's what do they say? What's or the like, thing? What's the thing? Like uh, stamp it out. Yeah, oh, that's football. Like yeah. call them out. Yeah, and it, and it's normally like an ad of a guy being a bit. Yeah, and then go, whoa, mate, that's not what we do. Yeah, are you, are you all right, miss? Yeah, that's not on, buddy. <laughs> We're better than that. Yeah. I expect more from you, Joel. Gillette. Gillette, the, the best man, the man yeah, can get. The man who <laughs> is is the man who shows. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, no, I'm not on this. I'm not on the stiff. So I'm going to be hitting up a chockey later, though. Oh yeah. I've been a good chockey boy. I haven't yeah. had one all day, so I'm going to go and get some. Fair enough. I'll tell you what is embarrassing. What? I started having protein shakes. Damn. Well, you're you're getting you're turning into a bit of a beefcake hunk. Yeah, that's you're... the plan. Yeah. It's it's accidental. You're going to be a hunky monkey. It's honestly accidental. Yeah. I need to swim more instead of go to the gym because it's just like it's very it's quite it's nice. So are you? It feels good. Yeah, famous, quite literally. Yeah, famously. yeah, yeah. Well, I was a bit surprised by that. I yeah. thought you know it's all it's you all pain. It was all, yeah. No pain, no gain. But Whereas you've it's not actually through. that much pain. So you're addicted now. 
I'm not. Well, the thing is, I'm I'm addicted. I I also need to pass off my addictions. So I'm I'm. It's I'm, a pretty good one. I'm drinking a lot addiction. less in the week. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. of that, I'm yeah. I'm smoking a lot less. Yeah. Slash stopped and not stopped and everything. Yeah. But so I fear that if I stop this, then I will, I'll end up back in the gutter. Yeah, it's true. It's, it, I do feel with you, it's, it, it's, you need these routines. It's holding, it's holding back. It's, it's holding a, back a demon. It's a dam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once burst. Once it, burst it. <laughs> well, that's what happened last. It's mi- missed one swimming session and yeah. it can all fucking spiral. <laughs> well, it happened last summer. It was all, it was all going like this. And then I had one yeah. cigarette and then yeah. off you go. See ya. You woke up six didn't, months didn't, later. Didn't get back in the pool for like four months. It was crazy. Swimming, I, I, I respect that you go swimming because it is the, one of the healthiest things to do because it's all, all, yeah. all over, it's low impact, all of that. But it is gross. Gross. Public pool. pools are gross. Well, because I've, I've ingested a child's shit but from that pool probably. Then, you find that gross, do you? I do. Maybe think... Miss Glastonbury. Is that gross? Yeah. Yeah, it's disgusting. <laughs> I do that think... pool is horrendous. Oh, I do think a public pool is fucking... No, there's something it's, sexy it's about minging. it. It's minging. There's something sexy about it. And I don't it. use that word lightly, but I'd say oh. it's minging. Ma- the word minging is minging. <laughs> it's manky. Oh, <laughs> love it. I actually love it. Manky. Love it. Reclaim. Oh, I really want to digest What are you else. doing there next to that manky old That's boot, manky. Harry? Oh, your shoes are manky. Do you know who is the definition of the word using the word manky Mark ron Cowley. weasley yeah yep. ron weasley it 100%. was 100 oh Ugh. harry that is manky <laughs> oh. oh what are you doing with that manky old hat oh, harry what are you doing with that manky old boot harry because <laughs> his, his whole shtick was like he 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 never he never yeah. got what was going on ever. Oh, he was, yeah, he was he was a little bit dumb, but then he had bravery. But he yeah. was um he was te- he was a scared boy. His arc yeah. was being terrified to being brave, wasn't it? Well, he yeah. was always like, oh, oh sp- sp- spider, <laughs> and then he's like tits. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, scared Ma- of him. Massive, yeah. massive tits. Massive tits. He was also a bit like. He was very childish, wasn't he? Yeah. He got, he was a bit, um, what's the word, petty. Also, which I didn't realise is that he was the representation of- Harry the- Potter. <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> I put a name to go with fire. Harry Potter. <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> Thank you. Harry Potter. You want to explain for the folks at home what well, that is? Well, we, we did we explain have, last week. explain again. <laughs> <laughs> it's the moment in Goblet of Fire where Dumbledore first sees that Harry's yeah. name has come out of the Goblet of Fire. Yeah. So he'll be in the Triwizard Tournament. And, yeah. how, and Michael Gambon decided, I think it's, this is documented, to do some sort of weird amalgamation of all of the British Isles accents. I don't um, think so it was a good it, choice. In retrospect. That's a pretty iconic role, you know? Yeah, he's uh, a good actor. I just don't think... I actually think if he'd chosen one, I don't think any of us would have been like, yeah. I wish he'd done four. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of like it. It keeps you on your toes. Well, yeah, because then that moment he goes, Harry Potter. Harry Potter! Ugh! <laughs> 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 that's... Oh, Harry, you're manking for putting your name in the bubble of fire. But he's the representation of the working class oh, by J.K. Hell, Rowling. Harry. Yes. Oh, bloody oh, hell, Harry! Oh, bloody hell! Oh, bloody <laughs> hell, Harry! <laughs> Which I guess is far off. Yeah, is he the only? He's Harry. one of the only working class representations in the. Yeah, the Weezys the are meant to be dirty, yeah. dirty little yeah. poor people. Because <laughs> <what laughs> like, every time, every time you go to the Weasleys, there's always a big bowl and there's like a magic broom mopping up their laundry, and, like, and it's like stupid. it's not very tasteful. That's their representation yeah. of poor people. It's just it's not like, like the Malfoys, who are, you know, they're yeah, high, yeah. high class. No, it's literally Snobs. there's always pots at the Weasleys, just stirring, mopping, boiling their clothes. They're always boiling their clothes. But that's the thing, isn't yeah. it? And like in uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, they boiled their clothes. I, yeah, they were boiling their clothes. Yeah, Matilda. I reckon there's boiling clothes going on in Matilda. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell, Harry! <laughs> another thing, yeah. another one of my most successful bits in terms of well, my accents aren't great. They're not awful. They're getting better. They're getting better. But well, and uh, Elle's mum, who is an actress, mm. actor. Um, Thank you. Accidentally said I, I said I had a, I have an ear for accents because oh, she's good. just done Scotland. I think she was drunk and lying, but I'll take that to yeah. The cows come high. But another one of my accent bits that for some reason what well, was this? Excuse me, have you got Sky Sports on your phone? Right, that mm-hmm. you thought that was like legendary, right? Yeah. Well, I can't remember what the story was. I just made it up one day. 
this is why it's one of the most confused it's my most successful comedic bit this I've ever had yeah. people would I would I said it once in a bar when I was with one of our friends yeah he lost it so I just did it to a few other people why, it's such with, a no random... con- with no context yeah it's like one of my most successful things yeah that no one knows I did Oh, I thought it was a, it was just mimicking our friend Michael Haddad. No, I was I wasn't show. with Michael Haddad, friend of the show. I was with a different person. Friend and you of the just show. it just came out. No, it's just a divine inspiration. <sighs> just mm. a moment of magic, you know. They come. They don't come very often. Um. So in the news, um, I guess, uh, boys gone wild news would be that there's been in Glasgow. There's been a lot of controversy. Well, arguably, they're making two bigger deal out of it the way that it's been reported Who's they? the media yeah the, like i saw an itv report talk about how it's a tragic story <laughs> yeah of course i it's don't relax. think it's relax it was like yeah the, the people might I have think they spent got conned out of 30 quid i don't it's not it was a bit more than the but it was maybe maybe it was like 150 quid or something i don't think it was i think it was like 35 won- quid it was 50 minimum but really. again it was either 50 or 150 it was probably 50 yeah. um yeah it's not a fucking tragedy yeah, yeah i remember there was yeah one of the ladies talking about it like and there's it's like a Daily Mail or th- or whatever thing when there's yeah. a picture of the the angry lady standing in front <laughs> of the thing. Like, yeah. This is obscene. Um, so it's a sort of fire festival style thing. Yes, yeah. Where explain for the people international. had been promised a Willy Wonka experience. Come with me. Yeah, and you'll and be the advert shows in a sim- world of pure imagination. I think they got like AI images as well. It was what- confirmed AI <laughs> images. Yeah, but to be honest fucking dumb is obviously an animated image yeah so when people are going it doesn't look like that it was like of course it doesn't look like that yeah. that's a drawing and then they came to the warehouse and yeah it it was hilariously shit I mean actually poor star would say we'd go into the warehouse yeah it was it, a warehouse they came in and there was I think immediately you're greeted by a pile of bin bags yeah there was definitely like, it was like one but of what those what made me laugh is that they still tried a little bit it wasn't like a complete yeah, yeah, yeah. it wasn't like you turn up and it's like well we just stole your money yeah, yeah. it was like we're still gonna attempt to try and yeah maybe Maybe, maybe they this. won't notice. <laughs> maybe won't. the kids are dumb enough to be like, wow, this is magical. And it was like, so, so this giant warehouse, but they had so such little stuff in there. They had a couple of uh, colored pipes. Yeah. You know? So, you know, like, you know, like a Methodist center where you see where you have like events on. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, you have of. like a, and there's always those tables, but don't have a bottom. Yes. Don't have a back to them. Yeah. So they, there's their white tables of grey hinge. Yeah, 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 They're yeah, always yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it was. Yeah. We look it up. It was a non-place. It was just a sort of... Is that red light not on? Oh, it's not. Oh, dear. Uh, what else did they have there? They had like... And what, what, I mean, what did bum me out a little bit was in the ITV report, there were still photos that they'd taken with the kids there. Yeah. Which sort of implies that they'd gone there and been like tried to make it work yeah like I feel I would have gone there and immediately been like really sorry guys well you'd be Let's like go get some ice cream you'd be or like, I know that the river wasn't great but just wait until you get to the land of chocolate that's really gonna come well through. that's what you'd do yeah well no you'd be like if the first room shit you're not gonna go you'd be like you're gonna have to try and I don't know maybe maybe I'm giving myself too much credit I do feel I'd walk in there and immediately realise completely you've ar- quite- no no you're not no? you're not putting yourself in the role of a parent maybe not you've just spent like you know you've worked all week you yeah. spent 150 you spent 50 pound a head to come to this wonka thing that you've been making the kids excited about all yeah. week you're not going to see the welcome sign and fuck off yeah you got to try and make something out of it i guess you so. never know it might get better and also kids are thick so. kids are dumb heads yeah they're big old thick boys and yeah. girls but um so the it was the company that ran this were called <sighs> Fraud Center. Well, they were called like Illuminati. Oh yeah, they're called the, yeah, they're called Illuminati. No, not the. It was like the Illuminati something. Yeah, like Illuminati. The Illuminati find. group or something. Yeah, I think it was basically the Illuminati group. It's like. What, who's I would that's a red flag for yeah. me yeah. I, <laughs> if when I was purchasing tickets to the Charlie and the Chocolate yeah. Factory the Willy yeah. Wonka experience yeah. in Glasgow yeah. I wouldn't be like yeah. I, and when, when when I go on the website and it says the Illuminati group I would maybe think twice about whether I'm actually going to see some Palumpas. apparently the owner uh, put on social media a heartfelt tearful apology uh, but issued, said he was not going to issue any refunds 
He's not which, issuing refunds. Which I do respect. Yeah, I mean, that's the best That's the best PR way to do it. Because then, you know... Just like, he, I'm really sorry you're having a good yeah. time, but no, I'm not going to give you... You can't, you can't you have any. the money back. Yeah. Of course yeah. you can't. But they didn't see, it didn't seem like they, he's, he's spent a lot of money. So he's clearly a man severely... Oh, he's made in, some fucking dosh. Yeah, he's severely in debt. I think, he, I think he, this strikes me as a man with a last-ditched attempt to make money <laughs> who's who's in debt to some very bad people. Yeah. And he's like, we need to really... <laughs> yeah. Really spin the wheel. And it's like... He's got some people in his circle, but none of them have any expertise in creating this experience. So yeah. he's calling, basically, he's calling Steve the Handyman and saying, "Let's make, yeah, let's make Willy Wonka, let's Wong make Charlie the Chocolate Factory <laughs> in in a day yeah. in a warehouse yeah. with very limited resources." <laughs> well, there were all these kids who were employers, actors as well. Oh yeah, and the interviews like, to them is great. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of begging for some sort of story. It's the yeah. guy who plays Willy Wonka. Wait, like a Toby Jones ITV? A, a Toby Jones ITV. Because <laughs> they're still to be paid. The actors are still to be paid. Oh, fuck. The, the whole thing's obviously a scam. Yeah. And like, the thing is, because it's the Illuminati group or yeah. whatever, it was like... It's, Don't you have bigger fish to fry? Yeah. Yeah. Well, do you reckon that's Jeff Bezos and, 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 the, and Cristiano Ronaldo? Yeah. Mm, it's Illuminati, isn't it? Mm. Um, no, but it's clearly, a, it's, clearly fraud, it's clearly a fraud group, I guess. Yeah. But then it's so... I, again, it's one... It's... Uh, do we the the question that we often have to ask ourselves as the gatekeepers of the Boys Gone Wild Museum of Fame and mm. Hall of Success is do we respect them or do we do we do we hate them? I think I I, I think we maybe should have a segment where we're, we need a better word for respect or disrespect, so a bit more catchy. But you know, love or loathe, not, that's n- it's not yeah, incredible. No, not like nineteenth century <laughs> kind of playwright. Uh, I'm gonna say love this guy I'm not gonna lie yeah me too big thumbs up <laughs> big hard thumbs up think... the stakes are low <laughs> it's not like you know we've admitted some we've admitted some far worse human beings into yeah. the boys yeah. boys got one hall of fame than the guy who mugged off a few families for 50 yeah. odd quid I think it really made me laugh it, it, the ITV coverage is extraordinary it's hilarious but how it's the mums, serious they are yeah, and, but a even tragic the mums, story I get that it's annoying for I, yeah, I would be I would off. be pissed off but yeah. the fact that they've got on like once it gets national coverage surely you're now like this is hilarious but it's also do you not think incredibly cringe to be caught by a scam right i can't understand why you did get I, it was, literally I would happened avoid, to you last month i would have literally <laughs> happened to you a couple of you spoke about it on the podcast how I, you fell victim to a scam yeah i would avoid having my face anywhere near this i might do one of those uh, is this weird that you have spoke about being a victim of a scam on an internet podcast <laughs> no, no. so no, i'm not no, sure no 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 because it's more i don't think that that is not as cringe as like for some reason the idea of turning up to one of these events <laughs> it's just yeah. cringe to what, me what in your like <laughs> yeah, you, well, it's just Charlie more, Bucket gone hat out, gone, Charlie Bucket hat you've there gone you out go. for a lovely day out and it's just <laughs> it's awful <laughs> it's and, awful. The, and then you spend the next like week complaining about it in the national media about how bad your weekend was I would have a face blurred voice modulator and I'll be yeah. on the yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, Horatio Gold anonymous. Uh, anonymous it is unclear why he needed to remain anonymous <laughs> however he insisted and that is, there was the only two <laughs> pipes there was one umpa but for the whole experience. It was quite awful. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why you've become posher. Um, yeah, I uh, there. Yeah, because one lady was like, "Well, I'm, I, you know, I, it's been a week or so." And she's like, "Yeah, I'm, I'm now starting to see the like a bit of the the funny side." Um, but there was there was just three days where it was fucking outrage, yeah. which is kind of an interesting way of how the media works because they know that that's funny. Mm. That's why yeah. it was a story because it yeah. was funny, but they can't be like, lol, yeah. look at this. They have to be like, unbelievable scam yeah. and everything. And they'll kind of like egg them on in their interviews and everything. But yeah. it looked fun. Yeah. I think um, what made me laugh as well was the, that video, you've seen that video of the guy behind the mirror. Behind the mirror. That's the first one I no. saw. So it was sort of like, in a random corner of the room, there was like a, a mirror like this, like a lengthway mirror like that. <laughs> yeah. And that was sort of like leaned against the corner and then hiding, clearly hidden behind it, is a guy in a mask. And he's hiding behind it. it. Yeah, it's terrifying. And then he stands up and I think he's meant to be Willy Wonka, right? right. With the mask. With and the then, mask? And all the kids what? burst into tears immediately. Really? O- obviously. Oh, that's a great it was like It's like a Phantom of the Opera, opera style mask and he's wearing a pirate hat. Nowhere is... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was about to be like, that didn't happen to Charlie Ch- Charles Bradshaw, but none of this did. None of it did. None of it did. <laughs> it's worth looking at the pictures if you haven't yeah. seen it. It's literally, the sparseness is the funniest yeah, thing. It's so sparse. Because there was no it's such effort. such a big room. No effort to fill the space whatsoever. I mean, it's, it's probably about 
thirty percent Wonka yeah. and seventy percent Warehouse, and like, and the, and the thirty percent Wonka is weak. It's yeah. not like it's not like they poured. All, they just accidentally got the spaces too big. If they yeah. had the, if they had a smaller space, they had the materials. They did not have the materials. So yeah, I'd say I'd say love. I, uh, I for me, it's uh, the yeah. Illuminati group is in the is in there. Uh, another guy who I think would probably be up for love and love this week uh, would be Bradley Cooper. Uh, Big who, news, yeah. Well, obviously we've been covering Bradley Cooper for a while. And I've, I'm, I'm really into Bradley Cooper certainly at the moment. Uh, we covered his uh, choice to have massive prosthetic nose in Maestro and no prosthetics for Elephant Man. Um, but new footage has emerged. Mm. Uh, well, it, that, impli- that implies that it's like, you know, secret videos. This is him in a press interview. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. He's with the children of uh, Leonard Bernstein. Uh, and I, I don't know what the interview is, but they're sat on a plush sofa with good lighting. So I assume it's a sort of like... It will be part of the like press a, tour yeah. for Maestro. Um, well, they did, I swear the family got angry at him for the nose. But, no, they you know, no, they, they Was that it, false report? They said it was fine. Fine. Um, and uh, the, basically, the, he's remembering Leonard Bernstein uh, and talking about him very emotionally. And then he starts... Burst, he bursts into he's tears. holding back tears yeah, which he's holding is back often tears. more emotional yeah uh, at the idea of him because he's just talking about how emotional it was to be that close to that person get close to that character and how they shared something special yeah but he never met Leonard he never Bird. met Leonard Birdstein yeah. and he was with <coughs> his actual children who were sort of stony faced look it up Take pause yeah. pause this and go to that now look it's just it it's why you, I just love actors that, that is just that is such an amazing energy to have be with the guy's actual children and be weeping over the loss of this man who you've never met, who has, knows nothing about you. I just, <laughs> it's something I could never do. I just, I admire him. It's yeah. a place I could yeah. never get to yeah. emotionally. Yeah. And it's so, it's, it's one of the most, the least self aware things I've yeah. ever seen in my life, actually. I thought he was quite self aware maybe back in the day. I, I just, what, during the hangover and limitless well, days? Well, more because I'd never seen him in interviews and stuff, and he, he's a good actor. So yeah. I assume he wasn't. I think it's now, it's just everything new I see of him, it seems like he's probably getting less and less self Well, yeah, and no, yeah, because yeah. the other thing was when he was um, doing that interview with, I think, Emma Stone, and he kept closing his eyes when he was talking. Did you see that? No. Yeah, this is like... that's cool. I like that. This is less self-aware and more... It's, it's implying that what you're saying is really powerful, right? Yeah, yeah, So every yeah. time you, I speak, I'm just going to close like my that. And then, yeah. <laughs> well, it, yeah, it said it helps, him, it helps him think better in a conversation if he, talk, if he shuts his eyes and go like that. And like, wait, you, wait, wait. This is like an actual thing that he yeah, talks yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's realised it helps him think and speak better if he shuts his eyes. <laughs> goes like that. Well, probably it does. Yeah, it does, yeah. You, you look like an idiot. What yeah. if I do that for the whole time? Yeah, I think... It's I a weird pro- energy to bring to a podcast. I'd prob- I probably would think and speak better if I closed my eyes and really thought about what I was saying. Yeah, but, but then what's... I, I just don't think... I think it takes too much away. What if you I do this for the whole it thing? It just makes it look like conversation's too hard for me if yeah. I'm constantly trying to think It does, think it's going... What, yeah, and then yeah. that went yeah. over there. Yeah, and so I went to the... Oh. We're not exactly saying anything profound there. <laughs> <laughs> Was that our attempt at being profound? I, I went to the... Um... <laughs> I went that thing there, yeah. I think. Um, well, maybe br- he's, he's breaking another glass ceiling, smashing through it. What's what, the glass ceiling? Having your eyes open when having a conversation. Oh, I guess so. Well, there is, a there is, and you can't deny this, yeah. there is an overwhelming global pressure to have your eyes open when you're talking to someone. It's true. I think he might it's just have a problem norm. with eye contact. Then I'm like, just look away. I don't think he needs to shut his eyes. He just what needs to he look away. What did he say? What is this interview? He says, I've had a real... It's, it's, I think it's an actors on actors thing. Oh, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like, it's all like a... Which is great. Because there's, no, there's, no, there's no one calling them out because it's just... No, actors. no, no. It's just them it's, giving it's each other the same two. Yeah, energy. Yeah, yeah. You know? It's true. Um, yeah, no. And you know, he, I think it's as simple as he's come to the realisation that if he shuts his eyes, he can think better. Yeah, and he can and he can talk better, but I don't think that he's come to that realization. He's probably just got to the age where he doesn't mind as much, or the kind of mental place where he doesn't yeah. mind as much looking like a maniac. No, I don't. I like it though. Yeah, I kind of like that. Yeah, um, it adds a. I wouldn't be shot. I wouldn't be surprised if he played a blind man in a biopic, <coughs> and that he closed his eyes for four years to prepare <laughs> for it. <laughs> oh, is he method? He, yeah, he is. No, he's but, not. I don't think he is method. I think yeah. he just works really hard. At, yeah, well, I, I don't think you can, can. You do a method acting role if you direct the film as well. 
Because then it's this Bernstein yeah, directing. No, I must be able to do a Bernstein impression. But I do, <laughs> You're going to only... do your go-to. Hey, hey what's what going on over here? What a cut. Um, no. <laughs> I, you could. It would be, yeah. I, I don't think it would. It probably wouldn't work, would it? Because then you'd have to, if you were proper method acting, it would become, you know, Bernstein's directing. Exactly. And it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be Bradley Cooper anymore. No. So I, I just think he works hard. Yeah, I mean, no, it is actually... We've spoken about it a lot, so then the the kind of sting has gone away from this. But it is one of the most astonishing videos I've seen. It was Bradley Cooper crying in yeah. front of the. He's never met him. Yeah, and he is he is getting emotional mm -hmm. over how close they were and the togetherness yeah. that they had, and he how close he experienced yeah. Bernstein in the film when he's acting him. That's it's the most insane thing I think I've ever heard. Well, I just do the feel delusional. like actors actors just don't have people to bring them back down to these sort of actors yeah i, I mean, mean we're we talking saw, we saw about a a a list yeah. yeah we're not talking about like nick frost or the guy who played willy wonka in the glasgow <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> he's not i think if anything, he needs a boost i think he's very self-aware <laughs> yeah. i don't think i yeah. think he's painfully self-aware yeah, yeah. <laughs> he is looking for the next role he's really not looking back at his last role He's not crying about how close he was with Willy Wonka during that performance. The masked performance where he jumped out outside, out of a mirror. But yeah, even if, even if you look at Sean Penn, like that is what happens down the line. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what happens with like another, yeah. I another think there's 20 a, years. There's like a, there's a river. Yeah. It's like a dam. Yeah, that, Mystic River. Th yeah, exactly. I know, Penn yeah, started. yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's why it's called the zero. Have you ever seen that? No. I never want to. Either. Never want to. It's like one of those films where I just like, it annoys me that it exists. Me because too. Because it's like, it got Oscar buzz. It's got those people. Yeah. Like, I have no idea what it's about. Yeah. I know it's about, I know a, he has a, a big emotional scene and it's yeah. like a detective film. Yeah. I think. I'm not going to watch it. I don't, and I really don't want to. No, I don't want to. I no. agree. It annoys me yeah. too. Um, uh, yeah. There's, well, there's clearly like, there's a point at which you, you transcend into, you know. But beyond the point of beyond the point of return yeah. where there's no help some some managed to make it through unscathed yeah Cooper and Penn were not two no. of those people no god no I wonder if we've got any new people coming up through the general we must do Barry's already lost it Barry, yeah, Barry's starting Barry, to lose his have you Barry mind. on Hot Wings no yeah or he's really ones. he's really serving I, to up. be fair I, I, yeah, I'm pretty biased because I only saw one clip, clip yeah. of when the thing was like he's hey, being arrogant this podcast arrogant. doesn't we don't like to do any more research than that. So no, I, no, a no. clip is a enough, clip that, is uh, enough and, for us and to what do I'm doing minutes. is saying what the caption said. <laughs> <laughs> if that's what you want, yeah. stay, like and subscribe. Yeah. Um, no, it was like him being cocky or arrogant. And yeah. I'm like, it, obviously it was a bit, it yeah. was, it, he wasn't just saying these things. Yeah. But even to do that as a bit, it still requires a level of cockiness. I think I just talked about this in the pod, but did I t tell you about Mike's friend? Um, yeah, in Ireland. Uh, did I talk about this in the pod? I don't think I did. I don't. I can't. We, well, the the so problem is we do everything in this fucking room. Yeah. So I don't know if it was on the if we were sitting there or there. Yeah. Well, how do you, I do even more in this room. So how yeah. do you think I feel? We'll be right back. <laughs> uh, basically, Mike, being Irish, uh, had a mutual friend with Barry Keown, and apparently they were, they were drinking heavily in a pub. And they went over to speak to him. Wait, 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 wait. Who? Mike's friend. Mike yeah, friend. not Mike. And he uh, sh got got drunk and started showing everyone his bank account, showing that he's got fifty million pounds in his bank account. Just, but, but it was more yeah. like he couldn't believe it. You yeah, know? yeah. It's yeah. it actually quite like, like what's going on. It yeah, be quite he's sweet. like, look at that. <laughs> uh, to be fair, I'd want to see that because it I'd sounds. I'd love to see what that written down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fifteen million because it like, sounds arrogant, account. but yeah. it is interesting. It's more like yeah, it's kind of mad. You're like, look, that's what it looks yeah. like because it doesn't. Yeah, it's almost indescribable. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. If I got fifteen mil, I probably wouldn't do it. But I guess if, you I, want, if I if yeah. I if I if I got won the I'd lottery, I'd show I'd show you my bank. Yeah, account, because there's no you've just pure luck. Who yeah. gives a fuck? Like, like, look, look at, at this. Look it's at free. It. It's free money. <laughs> fifteen million. Yeah. What's going on? Um, yeah, more power to him. He's gonna he's gonna fall off. But though. love and loathe. I think actually loathe Barry, Barry Kian, which feels harsh. It's harsh, but he's no. But he's 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 like oh, he's on the he's on the he's. Yeah. he's we're on one end of a seesaw, yeah. and he's on the other, and we're what, not. What's the other? I'll, I'll, I'll tell Please. you. I'll, and then we're not to tell you. He's at the moment yeah. the weight of him. Of I guess if he goes up, yeah. then we've accepted him. Yeah. If he goes down, then we've said no, and we go up. Right? What do you think? Uh, only this, this town ain't big enough for the both of us. <laughs> I'm not saying <laughs> us and Barry Key and Albert, uh, exist within the same space because at the moment we've got slightly different projects going on. Yeah. Um, no, it's more like for the love and loathe. Yeah. If this is what we're calling this segment. Uh, we're on a seesaw making the decision. Mm. If the decision is love, we go down, Barry goes up. 
if the decision is loathe, Barry goes down, we go up. Oh, so it's more like his career's already hurtling too much. We don't want to give any more. No, no, no. You're overcomplicating it. It's as simple as if we love him, then yeah. he goes up. If we loathe him, then we go up and he goes down. On the seesaw. Right. A seesaw is a yeah. thing. Yeah. So how... I was... Yeah. You know what a seesaw is, right? Yeah, I do yeah. know what a seesaw is. Yeah, yeah. I, I trust what you're saying makes sense. Um, I wouldn't. Yeah. Uh, so, but at the moment, the seesaw is balanced. Mm -hmm. So we, he is not either up or down because he's still got a bit of a chance. He's young. Yeah. The kid's young. He's just he's just got a few of these big roles. Yeah. Give him a chance. He's just got his first fun haircut. He's, he's just really. For, well, he's, he's gone <coughs> for a haircut. He's just had his first like proper stylist come he's, in. He's dating a pop star. He's dating a pop star. Give the bloke a break. Yeah. Give him give him a year or two to find it, and then we'll see him come round. Now, why has it annoyed me that he's dating a pop star? That's what I'm trying to work out. Is it bitterness? Or is it too obvious? Is it like... Well, she... No, but she's like... Sabrina Carpenter's like the most stereotypically attractive. I right? knew you'd say that because she's your type. Well, yeah. no, but she's like... She's not. She's not. She's the, like for a, me, she's, she's not, not the like top a, of no, the top. No, it's not what I'm seeing. She's a Barbie doll. You know, it's the... Right. It's yeah. the objective standard, right? Yeah, I suppose It's so. not the kinky, weird shit you're into. You River know? trolls. Yeah, exactly. Big, it's a, a big load of wood through their nose. Like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... Throwing um, rocks at me. You know, it's it's the... If he's if he's not stereotypically attractive or like ugly hot, she's just the most conventionally attractive you can be probably. Yeah. Right? So you think it's... So you're suggesting it's not genuine? Well, it's more. Uh, but I'm, I'm actually trying pick to work out myself. With, pick someone with a bit of a. No, no, I'm, no. Because fair, fair fucks to him. I think <laughs> if, if, if I was that. growing up and I was ugly and everyone was making fun of me for being ugly, and yeah. then I got got with the most like conventionally attractive woman. Yeah, I think that's a success story. But it has pissed me off, and I don't know why. Is it just all a bit too much too soon? Maybe. I think it's poor old Barry's going to be left. In the uh, he's dirt. he's had he's done like he's had that those yeah. roles. He did Saltburn, and then yeah. he had the haircut, and yeah. then he did those Oscar speech, not the Oscar speech, the award ceremony thing, and then Sabrina Carpenter. It's a bit yeah, like, it's a just, lot. Just and I think maybe it's I think his head's going to blow up if he gets any more. Well, it could be a Bieber validations. moment. Validations could be a Bieber moment, but then well, well what's, what's the what do you say is a Bieber moment? Well, when he lost his mind. Oh yeah, <laughs> when he started when he uh, so, someone... going into the comments and defending his wife. Like, yeah, well, which well his was, wife I really, was. I really rated that. Wasn't it? His wife was more towards the end of the Bieber moment. His wife kind of got what, him down. What, what did he? He was like driving into yeah, posts and yeah. letterboxes and like drugs and you know. Yeah, and then like a mental health break. Yeah, but, uh, then, and now he seems to be kind of back. I think because he and he loves his wife very much, seemingly, and. Uh, what I rated about him was in the comments, people would just slag off. Uh, if you're that famous, people are always going to just slag off. Uh, yeah, if you get way. if you get a video over a hundred thousand yeah, views, these people are yeah. slagging it off. It but matter. what I like is just to be with just like jumping in and yeah, just, yeah. just getting like you know getting down and dirty. <laughs> down Not, and dirty. So well, don't you talk about yeah. my beautiful wife? It's kind of the modern day equivalent <laughs> of defending your wife's wife's honor in like a tavern. If someone that's, was that's to, what I saw it like. It's like throwing just down your glass. Like, you say what you can. <laughs> yeah, just like except it's just doing it on the keyboard and anyone. Um, yeah, I um, I did karaoke this week. Oh. Um, uh, BB's friend's uh, birthday. Um, I, I'm against karaoke in general. <laughs> That's such a lame thing. I, I, <laughs> against? I always, yeah, I, I don't... It's not my chosen form of activity. I'm not Right, so it's, it's not like... You're not placarding it on a Saturday no, no, night, are you? No, you're not, I'm not God hates kar karaoke. Yeah. You don't think the, the right to choose karaoke should be taken away from people? <laughs> no, it should be available. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but it's... I don't know. It may, maybe it's it's is is it primarily for the girls and the gays? We have exactly the same color scheme on. Yeah, we do. Uh, we should. Well, have I'm actually repping my alma mater. Our and alma mater. You never represent our alma mater. I don't for good you, reason. You need, you need to represent our alma mater. <laughs> if I had like a hat on, I'd do it. What a University of Warwick hat. You're like a cowboy hat. <laughs> it's not. I guess it's something. Like Warwick. It's Sorry, not, it's not one that it. you really rep, is it? Warwick. No. You no. Know, it's kind of in between. Yeah. It's nothing really. But it is. I do like saying Alma, Alma Mater. Alma Mater. Alma Mater. Alma Mater. Uh, my Alma Mater. Alma Mater. Um, oh, the mighty have fallen. So that they see, they like karaoke a lot and they go often. Uh, it does feel it's primarily aimed at the girls and the gays, karaoke, right? And me. And you. Mm. Because you, you're a big karaoke guy. 
Well, I know we talked about this, but you. Have, I love karaoke. You, you had a, do you? How, how often did you go? I don't think to, to love something, you don't have to do it. Frequently. But are you going to like the karaoke bo- bo- like? I've the been. Rooms? I've been to carry. I've been to karaoke three times in the last yeah. year. That's enough. That's. A, that's I don't yeah. want to do it more than that. No, I'm not. Yeah. I guess a gay or a girl. No. Um, but uh, I got there and I was the first boyfriend to arrive. Yeah, I did see so that. That was <laughs> like, you know, and they were loving it and I was appreciating that they were loving did it. Did you sing? I did sing, actually. I got into it and I had a great time at the end. Did so, you sing the Mambo number no. five? No, I sung Viva song. La Vida. <laughs> it's your one moment to try and be a little bit sincere. <laughs> and you just couldn't do it. What? This is sincere. Viva La Vida. Yeah. I no, was because like, it's. Sao Paulo! <laughs> so, so and I got everyone to get their phone torches up. Yeah, that's good. I used to <laughs> rule the world. A lot of lyrics I did not know that. that was the lyrics. That's a big thing about karaoke. Day, like, I didn't know that was the fucking. The yeah, no, it's. I don't um, know lyrics. Uh, but then, yeah, there's a lot of actors <laughs> turned up. Uh, very nice actors. But yeah, I think it's just a much more... Actors are much more ready to get down and dirty. With of course they are. That's yeah, what they do for, for a, a job, you know. You know musical theatre kid, theater kids, you know. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I mean, well... But I enjoyed myself yeah, that's, more than I thought well, that's I That's the most would. important thing, yeah. isn't it? And I think it's actually because of how much they loved karaoke. It really felt, felt like it was quite easy to slip in. Tough you know? to go into. I definitely a... wouldn't want to be carrying... I de- I, what I'd hate... I tell you what, I did enjoy karaoke, but what I'd hate is to have to be the one to have to g anyone up. Oh I God. don't think I could really. I don't think I could get people in the mood for karaoke. Of course, you I could couldn't. be. I could be. You don't the, need to in, think that. You can know the, that in the slipstream, but I can't be the one being like, yeah, come do, on, doing a post ironic cover of Viva La Vida. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you couldn't. Yeah, no. Well, and it, it, it is embarrassing. You no, need no, to be fucko to do. It karaoke. is embarrassing to do it sincerely. I think. I do think that's embarrassing. How sincerely? I think like it's, it's sing the song, but it's about fun, silly songs. But if you're like, right, here's my time for a ballad, and you're you're trying to show off how amazing you are at singing. Obviously, trying to show off how amazing you are is the wrong thing. But there is a, a level of getting into it. Yeah, if you're don't, really don't getting fucking, into it. Exactly. Try, try, you know, put, yeah. put your pussy into it, but don't. Yeah, I, pop I, that I, pussy. Well, it's a tough. I think the reason why people hate hate it, yeah, because often you know there's. There's three mm. there's three people in the world. Yeah. Oh, there's three kind of people, people in the world. 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 Everyone shine on me. I was going to the Britney song, but I don't remember the rest. There's three kind there's, well, there's, no, there's two kind of people in the world. Again, your melodies are often those so Those who off. perform and those, those who, who observe. What? Something like that. Doesn't sound like well, one of her We hurts. sang a lot of Britney. And I tell you what, you know, after we've been slagging... We're not slagging Britney off. We were more, yeah. you know, trying to section her. Um, <laughs> she does. She serves it. I mean, of course she does. And some of her lyrics really, they re- she really cla- clap back at the haters. Wait. Most of her songs, the I think in her period, yeah, she really she clapped back well. Yeah, yeah. Is well, she not making music anymore then? No, she's focusing on she's focusing on her dance career. Yeah, well, um, I mean, we, we probably talk about that about the fact that we took down a Britney clip. Yeah, we, got, <laughs> we just thought it wasn't worth it. It wasn't I mean, it worth was, it. It was semi unwise to put it because it's like. Yeah, Britney and Tay. Because I did are message before. Fun. I was like, "Do we? I think I don't think we should do this." Or I was no. a bit like, "Is this fine?" You're like, "Yeah, yeah I guess yeah. so." And then we did it, and um, then it wasn't. I think it was more trying to say that her, maybe her dad was right. I think that was the, that was the thing that really. That, yeah, yeah, but that was a good punchline. That's why I kept it. <laughs> but yeah, no, it is as always with clips. It cuts yeah. up because there was loads we could have put in where we uh, became more measured towards the end. <laughs> but it was like, why would we put that in? It yeah. takes out the joke. In, the, in in reality, it was unwise to do it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah. Um, no, I, uh, uh, it was uh, we did it at Rowan's the karaoke, which is, d- does everything. Rowan's. I mean, it, it, Rowan's is a fucking crazy place because on the weekend you have to spend four pounds just to get in now. Four pounds on the weekend, and they got they got like three bouncers for some reason. I guess it probably must kick off. They started putting bouncers at this golf driving range I go to. For what? Well, there is a bar there, but it's like you know, it's not that. It's not how, a big. How, bar. Are you going on your own ever? So I have gone on my own. You when, it was sun- when it was sunnier, yeah. And how how was that? Uh, fucking great. That's that's. A I prefer to do things by myself most of the time. Activities like that, it's nice to do. That's, on your own. yeah. Although no, it's nice because I do it with my friend who I see not loads. Okay, know, so that's where, nice. where where's the where's the driving range? Greenwich Peninsula. Oh, so you are you in, hitting in, it into Canary Wolf? Like not no. into the <laughs> yeah. Building. There's like a door open. <laughs> well, you're trying the, to hit each window. You get a thousand like... pounds if you hit it in in Canary Wharf. It's um, so what caused the financial crash. It did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did loads of balls went in to hit all the computers. I'm like, Fuck. Oh, oh, money, delete, money delete, doesn't delete. exist anymore. <laughs> um, no, Canary. No, it's on like 
No, you're not hitting it into the Canary Wharf. There's yeah. like, there, but it's right yeah. on the on the river. Yeah. There's obviously big nets. I yeah. hit over a net one time accidentally. And that's like, you know, I, I was worried. That could be- Someone on a boat. Yeah. Well, no, yeah. but there's a, there's a path. There's a I path right next yeah, to it. That seems a bit- It seems like, yeah, a yeah. bit dodgy. There's rules as to, to kind of avoid that. The nets are pretty big, but still, you know, yeah. it's dangerous. I was yes. keeping an eye on the news for someone dying the next day. Didn't happen. Got no. away with it yet again. But there has been a lot of deaths recently in London. London- What are you saying? Is it die, dying, dying time? Die time? Well, seemingly, or is it getting reported more? What deaths are you talking about? Well, the big, the big scale ones. Big scare? Well, there's the uh, Ahmed uh, Ab Abdi. <laughs> Sorry, you know that. him, Ahmed Abdi. No, the fucking acid attack guy, the fucking oh, yeah. scariest man ever. Oh yeah, the creep, creepy man. I thought well, I saw didn't... him. Oh, he. You thought? Did, you I, saw... did, I, did I talk to you about this? Did I tell you about this? Yeah. Um, basically on the tube, I think two nights oh, before, because yeah, yeah, yeah. they said if anyone's seen him on the Victoria line around these sort of times, yeah. And I, I remember thinking, well, I did see the craziest looking guy I've ever seen in my life on the Victoria line the day before. Why? So what was crazy about him? He, I, I guess his face had a look quite similar, but he had, he'd, but it looked quite like it was like a Mongol looking face, but blue eyes and then. Justin Bieber hairstyle, <laughs> yeah, right? fair play, which is crazy. And yeah. then he had his his shoes were caked in mud, right? Mm. And um, he was sat no bag, <laughs> he sat up on the the thing like this, staring at all the women, trying right. to get them to look at him. All right, and I kept trying to look at him because I was trying to remember what he looked like. Because I was like, this is the maddest looking dude ever. Yeah. Every time I looked at him, he'd glare at me, and I was like, "This is fucking terrifying." So yeah. I kept trying to sneak a look. So I was like, "I need to yeah, see more yeah, of this yeah. guy because this guy gives me the fucking heebie-jeebies." And he got out at the same stop as me, but he didn't have a scar on his face. So uh, also, yeah, well, it was actually clearly not him when you did. But for a second, yeah, my yeah. blood ran cold because <clears throat> the like the fate, the actual face was quite similar, but the haircut was different. Yeah. Um, well, I suppose he's well. He 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 died, but it was a suicide, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, but, but this would have been the, the day before, so this could be. He, it, in my head, it's like he could have yeah, been yeah, out yeah. and about, just looking to do this shit. Yeah, I know. But in terms of like, there's more deaths in London. There was an acid. He acid attacked people and then killed himself. I don't yeah. think that's enough to. We're hit. just getting more dangerous, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I get not, all the news is notifications. It? Is it? What? All the news notifications well, there's get like, more ratchet. There's protests and there's unrest because of Israel Palestine. That's that's kind of that's what's about to be a bit more dangerous in Russia, but yeah. I don't know. Knife crimes up. I think so. But I don't know, it just it seems like the are you feeling my, on the my streets. B, my BBC news notifications are getting more and more ratchet, I feel. Yeah, there's we're definitely one. crescendoing to something. Something's gonna something's gonna pop. Yeah. I think we need uh we need like a Batman. Yeah. We need someone to Clean up the streets. Someone needs to clean up the streets, yeah. What would a good English version of Batman be? Who's uh, who? Someone who we could actually... Because, you know, we got a bloke what's up, rocks Fox up. Fox Boy. Right? Yeah. Kind of like it. Yeah. The thing is, I wouldn't trust him to clean up the streets. What, Fox Boy? Yeah, because yeah. he's sneaking why, about. Why? He's eating trash. And also, why are you a boy? Yeah. I don't want a boy. I want a man. Fo ba Fox Baby. Fox Baby. <laughs> lad Baby. Yeah. Fuck Lad, lad Baby. Let's get... Fuck Lad Baby. Yeah. Lad Baby, I think, is, <laughs> lad is baby. the most... But who... They're parasites. Who's a fan of Lad Baby? Apparently everyone. Have Apparently. You, they're always Christmas number one. Imagine being a lad... Oh, imagine being like, like I, mate. Have you seen these guys? I love lad baby. Lad baby. Lad. lad loathe. Why are they quite? Why are they called bait? Ba what's the? Are they have a baby. They've got to have a baby. Yeah, they've got a baby. Are they at all linked with lad bible? Lad baby. No. What's going on there? Then? It's not. It's not. It's obscene. It's not on. And they sing about sausage rolls and become for people who are yeah. internationally international listeners. Our Christmas number one for the have last. Been Three. Hijacked by domestic terrorists. <laughs> by domestic, <laughs> who is this yeah. couple? Clearly from like I don't know the yeah. home counties, or they're yeah. like, or maybe they're northernish, but they're well off, and they've got well, they've got that house. I don't want to know. I'd rather not know. Yeah, they are domestic terrorists, and every year they they basically just like sing about sausage rolls, and it's kind of musical comedy that isn't musical or comedic. And they and hijack then, the charts, and they get Christmas number one every year. And we, I just don't know why. What what are we saying with that? What Baby? they did is they they destroyed the idea of the Christmas number one. The Christmas number one doesn't mean anything anymore. Anymore. Yeah, and it they, used but, to, but it's like, well, if it's going to be just given to the, what's the shittest song we can possibly? Vote? That doesn't. It also doesn't say. I mean, that because there was a bit when there was there was the whole Rage Against the Machine Christmas yeah. number one thing. Yeah. That was at least like fuck the system. Let's stand yeah. for something. Yeah. These two cunts talking, singing about sausage rolls. What are we saying by allowing them to? 
Wouldn't it be funny if when? a song about sausage rolls got Christmas number one? Yeah, the first time. But if you do it eight times and you've it wasn't learned funny how to, the first time. Yeah, if you learn how to rig the system, it's it, they, no. Funny. They changed their song. It's not always sausage rolls. Is it not? No, I think they, sausage rolls was one of them. It yeah. might have been the the recent one. Their first. Yeah, no, they one have of, a different comedy song each time. They have a different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not always sausage rolls. But to be honest, the theme isn't that far away from sausage rolls. Well, I think the Wheelstone Raider went for Christmas number one, and why? And as he should. Yeah, and that was I. I think he came, he did all right, like, probably not actually, probably got like yeah. in the top 20, Wheelstone Raider. He, I think it's quite a tragic trajectory. Um, for these who don't know who Wheelstone Raider <laughs> it's is. It's a tough one to explain. <laughs> it's uh, a viral video of a man at a grassroots football game <laughs> uh, furiously shouting at someone who, uh, you've got no fans. You got, got no, no fans. fans. Yeah. You got no fans. And so. There's not many fans around the whole. Yeah. Scene. You've got no fans. Yeah. Yeah. Um, What's that? Well, you want some? I'll you give want it some. Yeah, you it, want some? It? I'll give it you. Yeah. yeah. Um, and he became a meme viral sensation very briefly, and then clearly, you know, needed money, so mm. uh, tried to squeeze as much money out of his oh, viral God, yeah. as possible. And it's sort of this is sort of the darkest side of fame. Yeah. Probably, probably the bottom floor of fame. Yeah. Is yeah, probably yeah. the Wilson Raider. The, yeah. Uh, and to make money, he. Uh, would go on stag dues and be handcuffed to the stag, which I think we have talked about this. But we have, yeah. It's about how how long is that funny for? Because what's it is funny the idea of like in imagine, my mind five minutes. Imagine imagine if we uh, got the wheels of radio. I don't, even, I don't yeah. think it's funny at all actually. But then you have to hang out with this dude. Yeah, and, and then he's clearly there. quite unwell. Yeah, and it's going to be an <laughs> just awkward... bumming the vibes out. Yeah, because they'll sit down for like a drink in a pub or something, and he's just going to be <laughs> next next to the groom. Yeah. His big night, and everyone, you're going to have to talk to him. Yeah, it's, it's an, it's, I don't. It's for for idiots that would actually find it funny. Yeah, they haven't thought it through. Well, you know, the, the punishment end. fits the crime. I feel that's true. But then, yeah. no, but then there's a, there's this a poor poetic fucker, just, justice. This poor fucker. Yeah. Well, I guess it's also like he shouldn't be seeking that level of fame. No. Just like leave it. No, no, you don't need there's it. Other way, surely there's other ways. Well, well, I don't think. I don't think maybe he's not built for a, <laughs> to have a to be famous. He doesn't need to be. I'm sure he's fine. Um, right, guys, we're gonna move over oh. to the Patreon. Uh, thanks very much for listening. Uh, we'll see you next week. Bye.